On this Earth Day, we turn our focus to climate change's impact on the nation's rivers and on the fishing industry. For tonight's In Depth, CBS's environmental correspondent David Schechter waded into the warming waters. This is the home of American fly fishing. This is ground zero right here. You're standing in it. Brian Shepard is a guide on the historic Beaver Kill River in New York's Catskill Mountains. We'll go ahead and step on in the water here. Just and he's day. teaching me to fish, if that's even possible. It's not really about the fish. It's actually about introducing people to a way that their life can improve. And we try to expose them to the magic of this place so that they'll save it. Uh, oh, 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 got something. Yep, set, yep. Oh, oh, shoot. Uh, ah. Ah. That was a fish. That was a fish. <laughs> But rivers everywhere are in trouble. Recent research found 87% of rivers studied across the U.S. and Europe are warming with 70% losing oxygen. What climate change does is it's starving the oxygen out of the water. It's raising the water temperature and, and it's killing off trout. I don't know that I'll be doing this in 10 to 15 years from now. Shepard is part of the $1.2 billion U.S. fly fishing industry, but warming water means fewer fish during peak tourism season. You know, when they hit that mid to high 60 range, it becomes um, kind of fatal to the trout if you catch them. Nowadays, we're hitting that for two to three months out of the year. Yeah, it's a really beautiful place and a really interesting river. Jeff Skelding, executive director of Friends of the Upper Delaware River, says fewer fish to catch hurt the local fishing tourism economy. If you go to the museums around here, you'll see pictures of people catching hundreds and hundreds of brook trout out of these streams. That has changed, you're not gonna do that anymore. He says over generations, rivers here have lost flow because of sediment buildup and the construction of dams. That leads to stagnant water, which heats up in the sun, along with the fish in it. The problems that these rivers are experiencing are, are not very different than we see in many, many other parts of the country. To cool the river down, Skelding's nonprofit group is working to restore the flow, which will help more than just the fish. All kinds of recreational activities increasingly are supporting the economies of these communities. Hey, David, get that net. Get that net. This is a brown, uh -huh. Catskill brown. Way to go. Ooh, and hey, look, he's feisty. Yeah. A little brown. Little guy, but he's nice, beautiful. Another magic moment on the beaver kill. For Shepard, something worth protecting as the changing climate changes his industry. David Schechter, CBS News in the Catskill Mountains.